the Internet's premier talk radio station, VoiceAmerica.com. And hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, my name is Sandra Rogers. I'm the network director with Voice America World Talk Radio Networks. We are live at the Spotlight Summit at the uh, Irvine Marriott uh, Hotel in Orange County, California. I am joined today by Wileen uh, Benson, who is a personal alignment and business coach. So welcome, Eileen. It's, Thank it's you. great to, to meet you today and have you sit with me for a little bit here. So can you tell uh, the listeners a little bit about who you are? Uh, you, you and what you do. Yes, I would love to. My name is Wileen Benson, and okay. I've been in the coaching business for about five years. Okay. Um, it all started about six years ago. I had a heart attack, mm. and the doctor had told me that my heart would only be working at 40% of its capacity for the rest of my life. Okay. But because of a private mentor that I had at the time, and um, just the idea that I could question that, and possibly have a different outcome. I um, employed the laws of um, attraction and um, changing my beliefs and things like that. And and I actually have a fully yes. functioning heart now. Wow. And um, and I, I question anything that doesn't work for okay. me. Okay. You know, I, I love that because uh, so many times people are given diagnosis mm -hmm. and uh, it depends on our mindset and where we are. If we believe in that, we buy into that, then exactly. we become that. Yeah. So you were saying, I'm not allowing this and I'm going to look for something further. So from your experience, are you saying that you now want to help others see that uh, there are potentials and you can overcome other obstacles. Yes, exactly. Um, one of, on my program, the very first thing that I teach is to take a leap of faith. Okay. And when we take a leap of faith, we're actually stepping out of integrity with the current beliefs that we have. Yes. So my um, the process is, you know, taking that leap of faith and then every day getting yourself back into alignment, back into integrity yes. with what you are choosing to do. And I have processes that I teach to be able to get you in alignment and in full integrity with mm -hmm. the life that you choose and the things that you want in your life rather than you know just accepting what is okay so uh, we're talking today about what you do are you interested in putting your voice out there on a broader platform are you looking for some type of a media uh, platform I, to help you amplify yes. your message yeah I definitely am I um, I'm still sort of new okay. in this industry, I feel, but I do okay. have a lot of experience. Okay. I've had a lot of testimonials from um, my clients, and so I feel like I have a really big message to share and something that would be really beneficial mm -hmm. to the world. Okay. So definitely looking for a bigger platform. Well, we, we appreciate you sharing uh, your message and your passion. I know that um, a lot of people uh, have a, a, a strong desire to help. Mm -hmm. and to guide uh, individuals and, and many times it comes from their personal experiences and and because of that shift that's that's impacted them and changed their lives and they want to get out there and make a difference for others so what brought you here to this event I met Allison um, just a few weeks ago actually okay. and um, traveled out here again to California to be uh, on in this event yes. because first of all I just feel like it's a really great space to be in yes. there's a lot of a lot people, of energy a lot, yeah, of, high energy a lot of energy mm -hmm. and, and I feel like you become like the people that you hang around yeah. and so just being in this space um, allows me to um, just kind of test things out network with people find out you know what my next step is yes. and, and how to um, share my message in a in a broader way it's beautiful uh, finally, uh, do you have any uh, words of wisdom that you would like to share with your listeners today? I feel like the one thing that is so important is just to look at what you have in your life yes. and first of all, find gratitude. Mm -hmm. There's gratitude in every single thing that happens with the heart attack that I had. I have a tremendous amount of gratitude because it was a pattern interrupt for me. Okay. I, I was not living a life in alignment with what okay. I, I really wanted. And um, it was an opportunity for me to really take a step back. So find gratitude and, and question it. You know, decide that there is maybe a miracle for you or yeah. a way that you could, yeah. could live a little bit differently. And there's, um, anyway, I have some tools that I could share okay. if that's something that that's would be That's very profound. I appreciate that. And sometimes these lessons show up. Yeah, for sure. In forms of heart attacks and other places <laughs> like that. You know, uh, you look at like extremely healthy individuals. So I'm sure, you know, it was... 
a shock to you that that happened, yeah. but you're you're stronger and better right. on the other side of that, and that's what makes sure. the biggest difference. So I appreciate you uh, coming you. and sharing your your time with us today. The Internet's premier talk radio station, VoiceAmerica.com.